When you guys announced that Miranda and you were going to be hitting the road, everybody just kind of went, well, of course. It's, it's the perfect yeah, thing. It is. It's so fun. I was over there yesterday catching up with her and hanging out. And, um, you know, not just Miranda, but her band, you know. All the guys, her band, I know those guys so well and her crew. And uh, But certainly for her and I, you know, we're, we go way back. And uh, she came up to me, you know, we both had a few. She's like, we need a, you know, we need a tour together again. we got to do, because we did Locked and Loaded back in 2006. So this tour is called Locked and Reloaded. We really want to make this, this tour as big as it can be and as, as good for us as it can be. So, yeah, just having some hit songs and be able to put it together with a great band and crew and a set and some video element. It's going to be a fun year. 5150 and then tip it on back and home yeah. before that. I mean, the, the run that these three songs have yeah. had right now, this is, you couldn't be happier. It's really fun, man. Just having the songs out and actually having some video element to go along with the songs for our fans and uh, for us as a live band and this new set that we just put together. My, my checkbook's hot, Stormy, I tell you, it's been uh, writing a lot of checks. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they cash. You and Miranda pairing up at all? Yeah, oh yeah, man. We're going to make this thing. Um, it's gonna be for our fans. You know, I, I think she and I, we'd love traditional country music. Mm -hmm. Loretta Lynn for her, and, you know, George Jones, Johnny Cash, Conway Twitty, all these guys. Like, we have to do something like that in our show. You know, just it's the right, it's just the right thing to do. But you know, we want to surprise our fans too and do some some other stuff they wouldn't expect. So we're trying to mash up some stuff and and uh, and keep everyone entertained all the way through. We've seen this dog connected at the hip with you for, yeah. for a long time, 12 years or I whatever. I, I mean, it, to, to think of him not by your side was scary. He, um, he ran away yesterday. There's some huge thunderstorms in Nashville, and Jake uh, jumped over a fence and because um, he doesn't like being alone during thunderstorms. I was driving up and down the streets going, gosh, I just wish I had some banner behind me saying, hey, like, I'm looking for my dog. And then I, my brain, which works kind of oh, slow. Social like, media. Yeah, I was like, maybe I should you know, go to Twitter and Facebook. And I did. And uh, you were one of the first people to write me back saying, hey, man, oh, what man. can I do to help? You know, and that's what I got from everybody. What can I do to help? Can I drive around? Sure. And I, you know, I don't, I'm not very good at taking help. And people would, wouldn't take no. You know, my booking sure. agent, Jay Williams, he started driving around. The president of my label, Mike Dungan, <laughs> started driving around. My manager was driving around. A lot of guys at the band were driving around. I was just passing people, you know, it's so funny. left and right. Yeah. Funny thing is I did like a five mile grid. I mean, I was going up and down every road. He went about two blocks. <laughs> I told you that. No, but it's like, it's one of those things. It's like, I had to keep looking. So if something had happened to him, I could say, you know what? I looked everywhere. You, you so, it. but he went like two blocks, almost got hit by a car, according to the girl that picked him up. And um, she had lost a dog to a car accident. So she stopped in the rain, you know, it was like 30 degrees. Everything started looking like Jake, a fire hydrant. I'm like, there he is, it's a red fire hydrant. No, like, I was losing my mind. But um, he was he was warm and comfortable and it all worked out great. Uh, Seven o'clock the next morning, I got a, you know, we got a call saying, hey, um, Jake's coming home, so. Greatest news ever. It really is, man. It's, and it's once not, again, he stole your thunder. He can steal it all day long, man. I. I <laughs> I love that dog, man. We've been through so much together. I mean, he's 12 years old, so he's been there through like all the hard times, all the crappy times, and then all the great times now. And he and I both had to learn to adjust to kids together. You know, I mean, when I, I don't know, kids. Well, what am I gonna do with them? He thought kids were like big squirrels. He <laughs> he attacked them, and now he's like a guard dog for Evie and Jordan. He's like the most. Uh, you know, we've, we've grown up together really in this town, and um. So I just, I'm so grateful for, you know, and then all my support, man, all the country fans, like just the, the Twitter was blown sure. up. This. Like I had, I had fans from California, like emailing Jake Owen and Eric Jerks and Luke and saying, hey, rebroadcast this stuff and repost this and so yeah. retweet it. So <laughs> it's gone from like the worst day to the best day. So awesome. best day to the worst day to the best day. So that's good. Cool. I'm just, man, I'm so excited for this year. It's, it really is going to be a fun, fun, fun year for all of us. It's off to a wild start. Yeah, it's off to a good start. <laughs> Come on, get your good time on.